Welcome, brothers and sisters, my name is Eros and I am the Dollmaker. Also, welcome in another episode all about the planets and better understanding the sphere of energy of every single planet one by one. Today we will be talking about Venus and as always please do remember we will not take into consideration every single possible correspondence of the planet only the ones that in my experience will give you a better feel a better sensation for the intrinsic energy of the planet and the first of these correspondences for Venus will be love, finding love, maintaining love in the long term and understanding love. Love not only for ourselves and for others but also for what we want to do, for our passions and of course also for others and especially for ourselves love toward ourselves because we need to understand that love is first of all a vibration maybe if not surely the highest vibration but love is also a condition it's a cause to pursue a condition of love is a it is an extremely high vibration without a state of obsession which is quite the contrary obsession is based on fear which is the opposite of love now, the second correspondence that we will take into consideration is the one that Venus has with relationships. So, Venus is telling us to structure our relationships, to feed intention and emotion into our relationship working on ourselves most of all and working on our connection with the love that we've seen just before working on our connection intensely but without attachment and with attachment i especially mean walking in our connection without obsession and of course in this sense also walking on our ability to forge and establish relationship meaningful relationships the third correspondence that we will take into consideration is for Venus new beginnings now first of all with new beginnings we are probably thinking about new streams of income this is why often we are told to walk with green candles for monetary purposes with our magic now green is usually the color attributed to money especially in the US but even though this is true in a sense it, from a planetary perspective this is not always necessarily the best course 
of action because if you want to expand one of your streams of income you are much better off walking with Jupiter we walk with green candles from a planetary perspective to create new streams of income something new a new route something that is beginning to give you this new stream of revenue if you want so please if you are working in this system do take in careful consideration when you want to work with venus for new streams and when you want to work with jupiter to expand something that you already know and already own then with this logic of the new beginnings with this correspondence of the new beginnings of course you can walk with venus for a new job or to facilitate new activities because of course in venus we find an extremely feminine power and feminine is what we want when we want to create new life new stream a new current if you want also from a mindset standpoint if you want we can use this correspondence to new beginnings to create new points of view in ourselves innovating ourselves or renovating our enthusiasm toward something now the teaching that venus at least in my opinion is clearly trying to present to us is the teachings of empathy so what does empathy mean understanding others understanding especially the motivation either to better plan for others or toward others or to get a better teamwork with others so through empathy through the teaching of empathy we can better value others while also increasing our perceived value in correspondence to others and of course in the end working better with others and in teams this is a skill usually called emotional intelligence as we always do we will take in consideration an object clearly related to venus which in this case is the medicine the medicine the medicine to solve something in this case the correspondence is nurturing i am especially talking about natural medicine so nurturing ourselves even if sometimes medicines especially natural medicines are bitter just like love but also at the same time a medicine is necessary to solve situation and to create new beginnings new opportunities to go on and to go further and this includes emotional medicines just like therapy which is extremely important just like vacations sometimes 
for from time to time and spiritual retreats in some of our cases, in some of our traditions. Just remember that this medicine is also telling us that love is always the answer, the best answer in any case. Now, as we always do, we will take into consideration two personality traits, two archetypes, if you want. One of Venus expressed in her best way, and one of Venus badly expressed. Now, the best expression of Venus is, in this case, the archetype of the parent. And the worst one is the obsessed. Now, the parent is first of all loving, while the obsessed is in love with her idea of love. The parent is nurturing himself or herself and others, while the obsessed is nurturing only her or his obsession, her or his idealized image of love. Now, the parent is generous and giving, while the obsessed is envious, a very hideous vibration. The parent is always trying to create the best environment she can or he can, while the obsessed is always trying to create chaos on the environment she or he inhabits. The parent is always trying to create the best opportunity and is always trying to work toward those best opportunities, while the obsessed is always looking for low points into others to take advantage of and to take advantage from. The parent is always present for others, especially for those she or he loves, while the obsessed is always present despite others will. Now, as always, we will take into consideration a few direct, strict correspondences. As we know, the color for Venus will be green or pink, especially for more romantic operations or for more feminine operations. The day of the week for Venus will be Friday, the day of Freya, of course. The card in the tarot deck best related to Venus will be the Empress in our tradition. And the metal alchemically, but also traditionally best related to Venus, will be copper. In a zodiacal standpoint, during the day, Venus as an energy, as a sphere of energy, is best related to Libra, while during the night is best related to Taurus. Now, if you like to work with crystals, in my personal experience, the best crystals to work with for Venus will be emerald, turquoise, and 
adventuring, especially green adventuring. And as we've said before, working with herbs for Venus, we will be most often than not working with oregano, catnip, roses, licorice, ever, marjoram, thyme and peppermint. But we can also want to work with capers, strawberries, almonds, pistachio, clover, patchouli, valerian, vervain. If you want to work with trees, I suggest elders, but you may also want to work with cherries and violet. Now, I hope this video was helpful to give you a better feel, better sensation of the sphere of energy of Venus. I hope I will see you in the next video. I deeply thank you for your kind attention. And as always, may eternal light shine.